What's up everyone, Desktops Gaming here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a cool package sent over from one of the longer sponsors of the channel. Uh, inside here we have a new little speaker to take a look at. Let's dive into it. Welcome back to the channel guys. We're doing something a little different today than what we normally do. We typically focus on PC builds and hardware. Uh, we do some other tech reviews from time to time though too. I like to swap it up like that. So today we have a cool little package here sent over from Edifier. This one a new little Bluetooth speaker they've been working on. So I want to check it out since they hit me up to want to send it over. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed. Like I said, if you are new here, like I said, do feel free to check out the builds playlist up here. Like I said, we do a lot of PC hardware, PC build reviews, things like that. If you're uh, coming back, just make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell to be notified every time that we uh, post a new video. All right, let's go and get this unboxed. The box in the box fiasco. All right, here we have the new Edifier. It is the MS50A. So this is one of their new Bluetooth speakers with a bunch of different support for assistance. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box and we'll go over some features. So we got it unpacked here. Nice looking little speaker. We have the power plug here at the base. We do have a little peel here, so we'll get in close for that. Tiny micro peel there. <laughs> All right, looks like on top here, we do have some controls. Looks like I have a forward and back power. Do we have, looks like a function button up top. We'll have to dive in to double check everything here in a sec. Uh, looks like there's a kind of a wheel going around and then a pause play button here. Uh, these look to be all touch controls except for the power button here itself. All right, let's dive into getting it plugged in and then we'll go over some more features. Now in setup mode, follow the instructions in your device's companion app. All right, as we've just been prompted there that I powered it on, it's put itself in a pairing mode and you heard a little prompt there. It's uh, referencing to go to the little guide here on how to set everything up. So let's go and dive into this guide and see how we compare it. So we have the Edifier Home app installing now and we'll open that up once it's ready. We've already connected to the power source. It says, yeah, or connected speaker to, speaker to the power source since we powered it on. Uh, let's see, now it says it's connected to a Wi-Fi app and to enable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi functions, of course. So we'll confirm allowing the Bluetooth so we can pair properly and bring Wi-Fi on to go and get connected to my network. We'll keep going through the little guide here. And then it kind of goes over some speaker controls. We have uh, speaker controls for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection. Looks like within the app and then on the speaker controls itself, it's a three second hold of the power button, turn it on and off, looks like. Uh, looks like that also functions as a mute and unmute. Let's see, we have a six second hold on the play pause button will also cause a reset. So if you guys need to reset it, we'll keep looking at the little guide here. And let's see, we have speaker controls for volume. And as I thought here, since it's all the dotted lines around the end of the uh, top of the unit here uh, is, looks like clockwise for volume up, counterclockwise for volume down. And it also says here, uh, we can work through <gasps> using the built-in nope. app. Uh, let's see, it looks like we have it through AirPlay, through the Spotify app, and it shows how to get it connected through there, and then kind of goes over the specifications and the contents of the box. So let's go ahead and dive into setting it up in the app itself. So we'll go ahead and add devices. Let's see, it looks like it is seeing the MS50A. Let's see, make sure that the speakers in setup mode, you see a constantly rapid flashing indicator light, which we do have on the top of the unit here. Just like this device to add, we'll go ahead and apparently it needs my Wi-Fi network. So I'll add that real quick. We're connecting to Wi-Fi or the speaker is attempting to connect to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi password is incorrect. Please try again. Oh, it says I entered my Wi-Fi pa wi password incorrectly. So that's interesting to know that it uh, prompts you to do that. So well, hang on one sec. We'll make sure it gets connected on the correct Wi-Fi. Connected to Wi-Fi. Oh, there we are. Now we're connected, so it says. So I'm going to wait for the little prompt to finish here. And we'll continue from there. So I'll just give it a second to pair. So it's connecting to Wi-Fi now. And then once we get everything connected, we'll be able to check out more of the controls. 
All right, so after a little bit of finagling, I thought maybe I was doing something wrong or maybe I paired something wrong. Uh, you do have to get this paired to Wi-Fi first. Uh, it will not pair to a five gigahertz band. Uh, on the app, I actually had to go in, uh, change my Wi-Fi settings to a 2.4 gigahertz band, and then I could go in and pair. So this is the screen you would see when you go down to pair. Uh, so basically it'll give you your normal control. Now this can sign into either, I'll say the Amazon pod devices to not trigger anyone else's out there, or you can pair it with your Spotify account. So you can go in and actually pair it with Spotify to be used, using this as your Spotify controller, or you can pair it to that Amazon AI device. There you go. Uh, so what's cool with these, you can use them as controllers using the front controls on the top here if you don't want to have access to your phone or if say you put your phone down somewhere else and have the sitting, you know, maybe you're jamming out while you're trying to cook or clean or whatever it may be, you have that control right there. Uh, instead of having to go back for your phone, you can kind of just touch the top of the speaker system here, uh, to kind of scroll around the top here to change the volume. You have forward, back, play, pause, all the good stuff. And then of course a little pairing button there in the middle. Another neat feature with this guy, you can go in and change the input. So if you want to use it as a regular Bluetooth speaker, you can, as you can see here, have inputs pulled up. So we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities to connect to. Uh, so this would give you the option to go in via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So we would switch that back over to Wi-Fi mode if we were connecting it to an Amazon account or to our Spotify account to use as a speaker and controller through that. Or we can flip it over to Bluetooth if you just want to pair it to your phone, use it as a regular Bluetooth device. That's what I did with this since I didn't want to link my other accounts yet. You can also go in and add these as pairs. So as you can see, you can kind of go in and set them up as a left, right. I think it defaults to your stereo if only one's connected. So far as I can tell by the sound, and we'll do a little sound test best we can here in a bit. Uh, but you can add another pair. So if you want to split them as stereo speakers, you can do that. So if we go into settings here, it just kind of gives you uh, so it'll have to blink some of this out, but it just kind of gives you some feedback about the device. You can access the user manual. You can, can go in and edit your Amazon account information from in here. If you are going to connect that here and it'll show you your IP address, Mac address, and um, that uh, factory setting restore there at the bottom. So overall, not a bad app to access to. Like I said, I was a little dumbfounded at first when it did want to connect, even though it said it was pairing via Wi-Fi or connected via Wi-Fi. Uh, apparently the app can't recognize anything other than that 2.4 gigahertz band. So just keep that in mind if you do pick up something like this. Now let's go ahead and dive into some sound tests here. Now it's a little harder. Uh, we'll have to play some copyright free music uh, since this is going up on YouTube, but I'll play some, um, if anything, we'll probably just use some stream beats. This is actually the same stuff I use in uh, most of my videos. Shout out to Harris Heller for uh, hooking us up with all that. So let's go ahead and give a little sound test here and I'll try to get the mic, you know, at a normal listening distance for you. I have an indie pop album here. Let's see what it sounds like. the front here, get my mic closer. I'd say overall pretty clean sound quality on mid bass and trebles. Yeah, it's definitely not the biggest speaker out. So let's try some other stuff here. What else do we have? Bass response is definitely, it could be a little tighter, but again, this is a pretty small speaker. We'll go into some EDM stuff. Honestly, not hearing too much distortion. Like I said, as long as the, it seems like as long as the kick and sub bass isn't too low, it holds together pretty well for a speaker this size. Let's see, we have some lo-fi here. Let's what we got on here, lo-fi. Let's go to Fantasy Arcade. A 
because you can definitely tell with the longer, lower range bass notes, it does break up a little bit, especially with the volume turned up pretty much max as I have it right now. So if I were using this and say we were listening to some synth wave, which we saw is gonna be a little bassy, might even turn it down a little bit. I mean, I think for what this guy is for the unit, and I like the idea of definitely pairing one of these, say, with a separate one, uh, this would make a pretty cool, if it if it does connect well, it would make a pretty cool little entertainment system setup. I could see that for making it super clean on cable since you don't have that power cable to run there. Uh, most TVs will support, or newer TVs, smart TVs will support that dual band thing. That's something I might check out in the future. We'll reach out to them and see if we can't pick up another one uh, just to see if we can test that out. Anyway, guys, that about goes over everything today as far as the Edifier, Edifier MS50A. Uh, like I said, the A for the, I guess, the active speaker here. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think for the price range of this guy, and I'll list it right here, and I'll add a link down below. Of course, you can go check out more from Edifier. I think, you know, as a general listening speaker, it's not the most high-fi audio speaker I've ever heard. No. Uh, but I think for the connectivity it has, again, as long as you pay attention to what's going on the app there, I think for what it does in that sense is pretty solid because uh, it'll give you that option to pair it through the Amazon AI device uh, through Spotify itself or just as a regular Bluetooth device. And that's a really cool feature, you know, letting you use this as a control for that. But yeah, guys, so if you want to check out uh, the last video we did, we actually just finished up a build in the new Dan case here. This is the new A4H2O here from Lee and Lee and Dan case just finished up building that. I'll go ahead and list that video right over here so you guys can go check that out if you want to see more uh, of that and of course we did an overview of the motherboard we used in it as well so definitely go check that out if you guys are more interested in builds but again i want to check this guy out today just to kind of go over some cool tech you guys might want to take a look at and i'll remember to link it down below but yeah i appreciate you guys stopping by today take it easy